Hello viewers, welcome back to another video on uh, PowerMill 5-axis tutorial. And uh, in this video, we are going to cover another tool axis definition called from point. So in the previous one, we had seen for towards point and we use uh, projection point finishing for a spherical uh, shape job. But in this example, what we have here in the screen is uh, it's not a spherical shape. So before that, uh, I want to share uh, what it looks like. If you go to the view dynamic sectioning and uh, from the front, if you select, so uh, I select Y axis here. So I will move this page here and you can able to see, I want to mainly concentrate on this region actually. Okay, it's a conical shape actually. It's not a spherical shape. So I cannot use a, uh, uh, projection point finishing strategy here, though I am using uh, tool axis as from point, okay? So it depends upon the job, you are going to select the tool axis and uh, your uh, tool path strategies, okay? Uh, only this is an idea of an example, you can choose different tool path strategies and tool axis. For this particular example, we are using, uh, in this case, for surface finishing strategy, and uh, we are also using a constant finishing toolpath strategy. Okay, there are two different uh, toolpath strategy, but uh, what we are going to control the tool axis is uh, from point option. Okay, let us go and see that it's a totally undercut actually. Okay, so uh, let us create uh, the first toolpath called the surface finishing strategy. Okay, so go to that uh, page here, surface finishing. Okay, so we already covered some of the things. Our tool got selected and uh, in the limit, uh, I put uh, minus 53.93. That means uh, you can see uh, in, inside that uh, job, there is a bo bottom face. That is, uh, it's a 53 mm minus. So I just stopped until that. Okay, minimum minus. That's maximum depth I want to be covered here is minus 53.9 something. So when it comes to surface finishing strategy, I select the surface first, okay? I preview it, then uh, I will know how it is going to generate, okay? So you can see that using a wireframe, okay? It's going to generate like this. The preview function is more important so that you can able to uh, get the result uh, about the tool power generation okay so that you can able to change it before going to calculate the tool path okay so in this case um, surface su surface inside you can able to select and uh, modify uh, what it looks like okay and uh, surface distance is uh, there are three methods distance uh, normalized and parametrics and uh, we are going to use distance mostly and uh, we are going to give the step over for that actually okay and when it comes to pattern you have control to uh, the pattern way because in this case, I use spiral with V option. If you select view you and if you say uh, preview it, you can see it is going up and down. I don't want to be go like that. I use view, preview it, okay? And uh, the start corner, you can say uh, minimum U, minimum V. It depends upon the surface actually, okay? You can start from one and you can able to understand how it is going to move. Okay, then if you want to change the start point from different region, you can use this option actually. Okay, and there is a limit option. Okay, uh, at present, I'm not going to use this uh, because I'm going to use a surface control with some uh, limit uh, to set actually. Okay, but the main point comes here is from point. In this case, uh, is from point option. Previous video, it's a spherical job. So we want to put the point inside actually. So towards point, so the, the point is located inside the job. This is from point, it is locating outside the job. So if you draw the tool axis checkbox on, go to the front view, you can see a, a point here. It is 0, 0, 15 mm. So from the, uh, from the work plane, just placed above that actually. So you can see that point here. So through that point, we are going to control this. You can able to move up and here based on the job, actually, whether it is reaching at the bottom or 
it is uh, touching at the top based on the profile you can change up and down okay let us calculate the tool path then we will find out uh, how it is going to generate actually so this is uh, though we are not using uh, projection point finishing okay for this particular cone shaped profile we may use different one actually so in this case you can see that uh, tool path got generated so i'm using totally wireframe front view you can see that it looks like so similarly uh, from here if you select any uh, segment simulate from point okay that point you can see that the tool axis okay uh, always took that point we mentioned in the from point option in the tool axis definition page wherever you select okay it is always uh, stick to that point actually okay then if you start from simulate okay you can see that it stick to that particular point and uh, it is uh, it is covering all the positive region and undercut region actually it's a very useful tool path creation uh, using surface because under the surface finishing strategy only one surface can be selected as it is single surface okay so i can able to use this option and at the same time i used from point option actually okay let me stop this one and uh, as i said you can use some other tool path strategy also you can use constant z actually so it's surprised bit because it's a three axis strategy uh, but in that one you have to uh, use undercut actually okay same way uh, the minimum uh, the distance i had mentioned here right and if you calculate the tool path okay so i already calculated for you actually it comes like this actually okay um so you can see that uh, the similar fashion but little bit different from the uh, the previous one because the surface finishing uh, the technology used based on the surface and the constant the degree we based on that the depth and the profile looks around it is getting different but anyway we can able to complete in both the ways actually okay but the same case in the constant z finishing we use from point 0050 mm that means above the job actually so using this control point we are going to generate the tool path actually if you look at the simulation of this same way actually okay uh, simulate from start okay it's a simple three axis strategy but what we did is actually uh, we use the tool axis definition to control the tool path even at the undercut and also we can able to tilt the tool axis stop for a while actually then i will switch on my uh, machine video all tool uh, this one also machine tool 3d simulation file okay so it looks uh, in this fashion so i placed over the table and uh, i start from here actually so start from simulate okay it's tilted in a particular angle and it start doing it actually okay so if you go to the machine tool okay start playing again you can see that the c axis is rotating all the way 360 degree and uh, the x axis it's trying to tilt somewhat uh, here and that so that it can able to uh, touch the whole profile even the positive and negative angle actually 